In this mini clip, we'll be discussing exponential laws. While we answer this question together, you'll be solving the similar problem on your own using the same technique. We are asked to simplify this expression here using exponent laws. I have listed the four different exponent laws that we will be using throughout our solution. To begin, we're going to consider our rules of bed mass, and we're going to simplify anything that is found in brackets. Looking at our numerator, we have x to the exponent 5, which is all raised to the exponent negative 1. Looking at the second exponent law here, we find that this is very similar to what we have in our question. In order to simplify a to the exponent x, which is all raised to the exponent y, you simply multiply the two exponents together. This is exactly what we're going to do with this section of our numerator here. So to simplify that, we have x to the exponent, we're going to multiply 5 by negative 1 to get negative 5. Then I'm going to write out whatever we have left in our numerator. We have y to the exponent negative 3 and x to the exponent 2. Looking at our denominator, we have x times y, which is all raised to the exponent 3. If we look at our third exponent law here, we have ab, which is all raised to the exponent x. This is the same form as what we have in our expression here. In order to simplify this, you bring the x into the brackets of each base. So you will result with having a to the exponent x times b to the exponent x. In our case, we have x times y all raised to the exponent 3. In order to simplify this expression, we're going to bring this 3 into the base here. So we will have x cubed. So we'll bring it into the first base, and we're going to multiply it by y. And again, we're going to bring this exponent into the brackets, y cubed. I'm going to rewrite what we have left in our denominator. x to the exponent 4 y to the exponent 5 times y to the exponent 6. I want you to now try doing this step with the question you are given. Here is the answer you should have got. So coming back to the question we are working on together, we are now going to further simplify the numerator as well as the denominator before we divide these two out with each other. Looking at our numerator, we have three powers being multiplied together. x to the exponent negative 5 times y to the exponent negative 3 times x to the exponent 2. If we look at our first exponent law here, when we have two powers multiplied together that have the same base, this can be further simplified by adding the exponents. The key here is that you must have the same base. So looking at our numerator, the only powers that have the same base is this power here, because the base is x, and this power, where the base is also an x. So we can further simplify the numerator by adding the exponents negative 5 and 2 together. So we have x to the exponent negative 5 plus 2. And I'm going to write y to exponent negative 3, since this can't be further simplified. The same exponent law applies for our denominator. So we need to group our powers that have the same base. So x cubed and x to the exponent 4 can be further simplified to be x to the exponent 3 plus 4. And then we have powers with a base y. So those can be further simplified by adding the exponents. So we have 3 plus 5 plus 6. Now adding these numbers together in the exponents, we have x to the exponent negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3 times y to the exponent, negative 3, 
and in our denominator we will have x to the exponent 7 and y to the exponent 14. I would now like you to try doing this step with the question you are given. Your question should, should simplify to this. So now the last step that we need to do is we need to simplify our numerator with our denominator. Since we're dividing, we can use our last exponent law. When we are dividing powers of the same base, you can simplify these powers by simply subtracting the exponents from each other. So here we have a power with a base of x, and in our denominator we also have a power of base x. So this can be further simplified to be x. Now you take the exponent in the numerator, so we will have negative 3, and it's going to be minus, we're going to subtract these exponents with each other, so minus 7. And then we have bases of y here in the numerator and in the denominator. So we'll have y, and since we're dividing these by each other, we're going to subtract the exponents. Negative 3 minus 14. So now just simplifying the exponents, we have negative 3 minus 7. This will give us x to the exponent negative 10. And here we have negative 3 minus 14. This will give us y to the exponent negative 17. Now usually we want our exponents to be positive. So in order to do that, you bring the whole power to the denominator and this will cause the exponent to turn positive. So since these are both negative, we want to bring them to the denominator and then they will change to be positive exponents. So we will have 1 all over x to the exponent 10 times y to the exponent 17. So we can use either one of these answers. So I'm just going to put an or here. So our final answer can be with negative exponents or it can be with positive exponents. I now want you to find the solution for the question you are given. Here's the final answer you should have got.